guys today we're doing another unboxing now on the last unboxing i said this is going to be big i mean it might not be the last unboxing but i said this is going to be big and a long video but here we have all the stuff that i got okay well let's go through this so first i got this sketch pad i um was practicing new wing designs put it on a scrap plane looks nice then put it on a royal australian air force plane forgot the name mm. i'm sure you all know what the is then it's probably my best plane or plane drawing ever quanta 787 drawing wow amazing uh don't you think all right so that's what i did in this book put that back then a really cheap five dollars for a foosball table um you know foosball really fun I like some balls i like cookies ball rainbow colored so yeah foosball slide the scores up to nine from zero to nine pretty much ten because if you include zero um yeah it's foosball then we have a How to Draw Reptiles book and Amphibians. So you have like an iguana page. So that's pretty cool. New magazine that I haven't quite opened up. We'll do that now. I'm not sure which copy this is. I think it's going to be one about pets. Or maybe something like that. I just have a feeling because I remember hearing something about that. Let me just open it off camera because it's hard to open on camera okay now let's pour it out on screen all right came out upside down mm. yep penguins emperors of the ice so i have a subscription to nat geo kids so i get all this stuff information about animals because i love animals as well as i do the temple um and other vehicles like that all right all righty now moving on i'm not going to roll this all out but i rolled a little bit out for you lego city map map i'm just going to use this for cars let me just grab a fictional car for representation because fictional cars are the closest to me because i have a big bucket of them so you're going down the road. I know this is on the wrong side. It just fits. See, so I'll put another fictional car on there. So you can see how they go by. So, just fits. Um, so that's great. This tent is new, but I've filled up this whole tin of cars. Custom Porsche that I got. This was already customized when I got it. It's a major drift Porsche. Look how much customized that is. Actually, it might not have been customized. I'm not a mess. I said mobile on it with two uh, two eyes. Um. Matchbox Corvette, old one, um, hot oil Subaru Impreza, let me just get this down, and I'll show you them on the map, this is the Matchbox Badger, I think this is fictional, I'm not sure, um, Matchbox Badger. The Hot Wheels, 1990. It's an old one. Doesn't even say the name. This looks like kind of a Le Mans car. Some kind of ma old Majorette sport car. This one's cool. A 70 
Wick GSX. In 1990, they never put the names, but I can tell from the logo. So, Raru, Hot Wheels. I already have this in yellow. So, here we go. A Matchbox 1973 Mercedes 350SL. It's got the same window missing. Maybe Matchbox made it wrong and it kept falling off or was really flimsy. I've got millions of these. Corvette brand sport by Hot Wheels. This is a no data. Matchbox F40 Ferrari. Oh, this is interesting. Opening doors for a matchbox. This is wonderful. Here's a good one. Corvettes by Hot Wheels 2020. 2010. Gotta love them Corvettes. I think this is called a Lexus. Let me just double check. Made by Sun Toys, which is interesting. Yep, Lexus TS300. This is incredibly detailed in the back. Mm, this is there. I actually like this. Made by Sun Toys. Oh, I'm going to look up Sun Toys. Because it's a really nice model. Yet another. Tune it up. In with the Corvette. This is a Hot Wheels Premium Corvette. Nice. Here we have a good one. It's a 1100 Majorette truck. It's about hot wheel size. Here we have a Hot Wheels 2001 non named alien car. I think it was called the Bees. I'm really not sure. Because I think I have another one with a name called the Bees or something. No, sorry, I skipped one. Which is a nice one. May you not major it. Green light. Ford. I think it's called like a 30 or 40 tractor. Very nice. Gotta love green lights. Huh, now I have three of them. Alright, so that's my giant tin of cars that I filled up. Um, now on to another carry case that I bought as well. So, um, starting off, we have this Peterbilt truck by Yeming, which is a good one. Um, then here we have a um, Siku Jeep. Uh, with a trailer that uh, is right here. Then we have a Siku police helicopter. I have the medical version of that one. Now I have the police version of that one. Here we have a truck. It's a um, Scania truck with interesting logos. It looks like fish on the on there. Here we have this Matchbox um, made in 2000 road roller. With turning, nice to see. Um, that trailer that you saw with the Jeep carried this boat. As you know, good for my new boat updates. Here we have this big, let me just check the name. Matchbox 1998 Chevrolet Silverado with high wheels. Really nice looking. Especially for second hand. All this is second hand. Porsche 911 GT3 from 2007. Brilliant. Matchbox. Here we have an Australia Post with We deliver wine by the bottle or by the truckload. Post. Um, 
opening that and can connect to most of my trucks. Most of them. What I'm saying. Now moving along here we have a police hummer. He is a cool maesto. Everyone loves maestos. Um, Ford Sport Track. Haven't heard of this car before. Um, Ferrari. By Madrid. This is a 2001... This is made for McDonald's, but it's Hot Wheels. <laughs> Interesting. It's a little one. Yeah, over here we have a Matchbox garbage truck. Fictional. It's called the Garbage Grinder. Here we have a cool car, which is the Matchbox um, Volkswagen Severo Cross. Made in 2011. I actually really like this car, even though it's unusual. <laughs> so, here we have a little teeny Bel Air made by, um, really small, uh, what's they called, um, Micro Machines. Here we have a Matchbox Skybusters DHL 737-800. Really nice. Great find. Second hand as well. We have another Peterbilt. Same one. Trailer, um... Ferrari made in Italy, which is nice, by Ferrango, Ferrari 348, this is cool, uh, scale 148, made in Italy, so I really like this. Um, now the Micro Machines Beetle, um, Kenworth Truck. A Zuzu truck, Toyota Corolla, um, Hot Wheels Stormtrooper car, Matchbox, uh, Mercedes Benz, uh, fifteen thousand, no truck fifteen thousand turbo, really nice truck though. Another Toyota Corolla, really messed up Mustang Super Cobra. Uh, I don't know. Cobra. I don't know. Boat. Micro Machines off road. Thing. Here we have a wind back engine and some wood that I got cut for me. And that's this thing. Isn't it? Now we better be for 12 minutes. I built this racing thing that came in this box that I've now filled with army figures that I also got. No, army set that I also got. Hot Wheels jump track. Some unidentified, looks like marble run, but I can use it for Hot Wheels. Here we have a really old Lego set that I built. Really fun to build. Tonka police helicopter with lights and sound, which I'm not going to press because that's really going to annoy my family. Tools from those sets. Lego tape, which will be fun to set up. I had that before. This cool car that says Oz1 on the license plate. That looks really cool looking. I filled army figures in there. Found the lid. Then there we have playing cards, Hot Wheels playing cards, just regular playing cards. Then we have some old stuff that I used to read, which will bring laughs and memories back. Like Thomas and Cars and Harry and the Dinosaurs. And um, those mini books. Meet the Mooney Papas. There's Thomas, if I haven't already mentioned that. I got a Ford magazine, which is really fun to read. Before my light bulb exploded. At my grandpa's house, that was I was kind of scared of that. Ford's book, and then an aviation magazine. Um, we got this light that used to spin around and flash a lot and have lights. Still works. The lights still work, but it doesn't flash around anymore. Um, I've been to oh Jesus, I've been to London, so I decided, and I love tea. Ever since I've been to London, because I got to try tea there. I've already tried iced tea, but normal tea. So I got this to drink tea in, slash Milo, because I love Milo. So it's a little London mug. So, that's nice. Then I got for my model railway collection, the Sodor Barrel Station, which has got moving parts, which is nice. 
and that's it. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Oops, forgot one thing. I'll just set you down there for a sec. My dinner's probably getting really cold. I got this ages ago on school camp, the Victor Harbour, but I found it again. So yeah, I have my whale. What a whale that I might feature in my boat update. Swimming around. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. This is a rather long video.